Hi guys, it's Victor Costa. How you doing? A lot of people ask me whether or not sleep is a vital component to the progression of bodybuilding. And I always pretty much answer the same way, that sleep is a vital uh, component of good physical and mental well-being, good mental and physical health. And it's not a stretch um, to make the argument that the better health you are in, the more likely you are to recover from your workouts and the more likely you are to progress. That's very easy. Um, I think sometimes that the folks who ask me this question are trying to justify somehow their inability to have a full night's sleep and to see if it is still possible to progress without sleep. I mean, that's how I'm going to intuit how the question really is because um, a lack of sleep has been linked um, to many chronic diseases, cardiovascular disease, stroke, um, obesity, as well as depression. So it is something that we have to tackle and it may be the um, primary thing we should tackle even before worrying about how big our chest or biceps are. So let's talk a little bit about that. So I've been doing a breathing technique recently uh, that's been helping me out quite a bit. Um, I know when you lay down sometimes at night, that's when sort of the, the boogeyman shows up, if you will. Uh, we're relatively vulnerable. We start thinking about a lot of the things that may um, be undone in our lives, um, some argument, arguments we might have or some bills that haven't been paid. And that's when these things start coming upon us, right? Sometimes when we slow things down a bit. But this is a very holy time. It's a time for you to regenerate. It's a time that uh, you need to, to regenerate your mind and your body and to deal with those things in the daylight hours. So how are we going to do that? So the breathing technique that I've been doing is um, inhaling takes four seconds, uh, hold my breath for seven seconds, and exhale for eight seconds. It's something that I've been playing with and experimenting with that I read about, uh, and it works very, very well, and I'd like your feedback on this. Inhale, four seconds, hold it for seven seconds, exhale for eight seconds. Um, another uh, technique and something that I think about that sometimes gives me a bit of a chuckle uh, was a book um, that I read a long time ago by Leo Buscalia. And uh, he used to think of that time of night right when you're going to bed as this beautiful, delicious time where you could do this little technique of letting all the problems that you have um, come to one tip, one assemblage point, if you will, which would be your nose, and let all the problems uh, coalesce and come to that point, and then allow your nose to fall off and drop off. That was another technique um, that he would use. So um, it's something that we have to try, guys. It's something that we have to work on. It's much more important than whether or not we squeeze out an extra set on our biceps or triceps. It's vital to good mental and physical well-being. And if it's something that you haven't been thinking of and you're trying to justify that you're not getting enough sleep and if you can still progress with bodybuilding, you have to figure this out some way or another. Um, even 10 minutes extra of sleep a night adds up dramatically and it's cumulative over the course of your your week, your month, your year. So it's something that we have to practice. So you have to start maybe shutting down the stimulus uh, at night too. Um, the last thing that you do at night shouldn't be um, being on the internet necessarily or it shouldn't have be, be television or it should be something tactile, maybe like a book. Um, it's very easy to uh, say some prayers, try to let all the, the day's stress um, just try to evaporate and allow yourself that time. You have earned that time just because you're you, just uh, for being a human being. It's a process that your body has to go through, it longs to go through, and if you sleep for seven to eight hours, which is generally the recommended uh, amount of sleep, you will see a lot of things that typically bother you throughout the day will not bother you anymore. And I wasn't sleeping enough, and I know that I become irritable when I don't get enough sleep. And so you wonder if you're chronically not getting a, enough sleep, if you become someone else, if you start behaving and acting in a way as if it is not true to your true self or close enough to your true self. And imagine that. Imagine if someone's disposition, their life, their accomplishments just hinged on an extra 20 minutes of sleep a night, an extra half hour of sleep a night. And I don't know where that tipping point is for you, but it certainly wouldn't hurt to try a nighttime routine, try to go to bed at night at the same time, cut off the stimulus early, do a breathing technique, 
allow everything to come to the tip of your nose and fall off. Do whatever you have to do to get that sleep for your mental and physical well-being. And then everything else starts falling into place, okay? So I wish you guys all the best. Peace, love, and muscles, good health. Visit me at Vix Natural. Say hello on Facebook. Take care. Bye.